Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. If you're even a little bit like me, then lately you've been spending a lot of time gazing out into space. NASA just directed a spaceship to smash into an asteroid. Yeah, that one's for the dinosaurs. Jupiter is as close to us as it's ever gonna be again in any of our lifetimes. The James Webb Telescope is sending back incredible images of some of the oldest stars in the galaxy. Uh, here at Sparkman, we've had Funyuns come from and leave for NASA, Blue Origin, SpaceX, Ball Aerospace. Let's face it, it's a good time to be a space nerd. And you'll be able to see just how much space has been on our mind here at SparkFun when you see what we have for you. Introducing the new SparkFun Constellation Micromod Kit. The kit centers around our Constellation Carrier Board. This board is built on our Micromod ATP footprint. ATP, of course, means all the pins. We've broken out as many pins as possible for you on this board and given most of them female headers and PTH pads, so you can prototype your project with jumper wires, then solder in your wiring to the corresponding pins for a more permanent installation. The board has an M.2 connector to allow you to add your Micromod processor board of choice. And of course, it also includes the necessary M2 5.3 millimeter screw. Its operating voltage range is from about 3.3 volts to 6 volts via VIN to the voltage regulator, or 3.3 volts via the 3V3 pin. Of course, it can also be powered and programmed via the USB Type-C port. And speaking of ports, let's take a look at what's possible among the over four dozen pins we've broken out. Pins include the aforementioned USB Type-C, and there's also a USB Type-A host. There are two quick-enabled I2C connectors, one CAN, one I2S, two SPI, two UARTs, two dedicated analog pins, two dedicated PWM pins, two dedicated digital pins, 12 general purpose input output pins, and one 2x5 SWD header. There's also a one milliamp hour battery backup for RTC, a pair of buttons for reset and boot, LEDs for power and 3.3 volts, and of course, those sweet graphics. The kit also includes our quick multi-star constellation, a five port quick breakout board, plus one 50 millimeter quick cable, one 100 millimeter quick cable, and our petite Micromod screwdriver. Of course, what good is a carrier board without a processor board? And since the idea behind our Micromod line is personalization and modular design, we didn't want to lock everyone into a single processor because we know that different projects call for different processors. So when you order this kit, you'll be given three promo codes from which to choose. These promo codes will allow you to add either the RP2040 processor, SAMD21 processor, or ESP32 processor to your kit. You choose your favorite, we're gonna throw it into the box for you and send it out the door. Now, one important thing to note is that depending on the design of the processor board you use, not all the pins may be accessible. I've thrown together a little project to demonstrate this, and I've decided on the ESP32 processor board because I wanted to use Bluetooth, and I'm familiar with ESP32's Bluetooth requirements. I've coded for it before. And since I wanted it constellation-based, uh -huh, I made a small projector disguised as a small observatory. And if everything goes right, this will project constellations that I printed out onto the wall. Uh, I had an old photographer's loop, so I used a lens from that. You know, back in the days when we used to shoot 35 millimeter film and print them onto contact sheets. Yeah, so I had that. And I had a little jeweler's loop that I used as the first lens so I can focus. I've got a carousel. Well, let's pop it open and take a look inside here. I've got a small carousel with slides that I printed out this morning. I'm running a continuous servo along with one of our 10 millimeter super bright LEDs and hopefully turn it on, run through some slides, Bob's your uncle. Let's give it a look. Okay, so the images are not great because I had to print them out super tiny this morning at home. This is Scorpio. Uh, because of the size of my first lens, it's like 20 millimeters. Oh, Sparkules, my favorite constellation. But I wanted to keep this build small, not like the size of a car tire. Who is this? Can't see, so I'm gonna say Cerberus. <laughs> Cygnus, fairly clear. And again, you get the idea. It's that easy. All right, so it still needs a little bit of tweaking. It was kind of a rush because I finished my last project like three days ago. Anyway, we hope this new kit inspires you to create an amazing new project or stare off into the vastness of space. Or maybe create a project that stares off into the vastness of space. 
or whatever project you decide to do, and whichever processor board you decide to use with your kit, you'll have no shortage of pins nor space-based inspiration with the new SparkFun Constellation Micromod Kit. Pick up your limited edition kit over at sparkfun.com while they last. And of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. If you're even a little bit of bit of addition, that's not bit, going yeah. all over the Do place. Bit, yeah. It's one thing working from home because you can just zoom with no pants, but here, I'll you with the SP32's Bluetooth requirements and coding for that. <clears throat> a little dry.